Capital. Mm -hmm. I'm the co-founder and CTO at Delivery. <laughs> Delivery is India's uh, largest fulfillment services company with a focus on digital uh, economy. Uh, we do all different kind of services from transportation, warehousing, freight, uh, hyperlocal delivery. Uh, we are pretty much in all those cases. We are we have so far we have delivered over 150 million shipments uh, across the country. We de we deliver to around 9,000 to 12,000 pin codes uh, in around 670 cities, and we expand to 800 cities in another two to three months time. Uh, we cater to over 3,000 clients, uh, mostly e-commerce uh, enterprises and brands. So we've been the early adopters of AWS. Uh, the very first product or the application that we built uh, was on the cloud and we use AWS from day one. Uh, we've also been the early adopters of all the different services, be it the managed services or the new tools that, that AWS has been launching. One of the key focus for me, at least as a CTO, had been to focus more on the application and work with the business and the operation side of things. And I wanted a partner who could help me manage all my infrastructure and grow with me as my business was growing at the rate at which it was scaling. Uh, to give an instance, for example, our first million shipment came in around uh, two to three years uh, when we started off. The next 10 million shipments came in within a year of that time. So when we look at a growth and a scale at that level, uh, we were looking at a partner who could easily, easily scale along with us and provide the tools which we could easily use to build within our applications or help us build our application so we can take it to the next level. So. As I mentioned earlier, I was the, uh, one of the early adopters of AWS. I've been following AWS since around 2005 or so, where I've been experimenting with different things uh, through being launched. Now, when we're looking at uh, delivery, uh, we needed a partner, uh, A, who could uh, provide us a different uh, tools uh, just to get started uh, at a very nominal price. Price was something very critical in the early days. As we evolved, as we grew, we started looking at more than the price. It was more around the uh, kind of service that were available. Uh, the kind of uh, compute power that was available, uh, the kind of databases uh, and the way I could interact with the databases became more critical. And that's where AWS kind of fit every time. Uh, we did explore other tools. Um, we did uh, explore things like DigitalOcean, et cetera, briefly for our uh, database side of things. Uh, but whenever we tried to do something like that, uh, AWS always came up with a much better product or a tool, which was very well integrated into our application and the overall stack. Um, so and we just continued working with that. Uh, some of the uh, things that we, the challenges that we were facing uh, as we were growing from uh, a mid scale to a large scale in terms of volumes, uh, that's where AWS fitted very well uh, for us. Uh, some of the tools uh, around the warehousing side, some of the analytic tools, uh, and more around if I look at the predictive, uh, the predictive algorithms or the machine learning algorithms, all that stack comes in very well integrated with AWS. So if you're looking at a, at a system or a backend applications that is collecting a lot of data and is growing on a month-on-month -month basis, uh, AWS fits in very well from a cost point of view, from an ability to scale point of view, and also to ingest a different kind of variety of information and, and add it to the same stack. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it, uh, what I uh, wanted to share. Hope that's helpful.